day to try to get the cat eye right. I don't know if you have seen my last videos, right now I'm trying out a palette where you have some suggested looks and today I'm trying out the third look and the last look of this particular palette. I'm using the Cat Eyes palette by Too Faced and it comes with this little booklet where you can see you have three different looks and uh, that you can do with it. Of course you can do more looks with it because you can use the colors in every way you want to. And here are three suggested ones, and we tried out the first two ones. Um, I don't know if I'm just incompetent, or maybe the cat eye isn't the best look for me. But today we're going to try the third one, which is the fashion one, or tendance, in French, if you want to have it like this. And um, I'm trying to do my best to get this right. Um, I already applied some foundation. And uh, I did my eyebrows and applied some eyeshadow primer and I also wear a lip balm, which is not really a lip balm, it's more like a lipstick base, but I like it so I wear it. Okay, I would say let's get started. This time we have four steps to do and our first step is sweep kitten onto lid. So today we're going to use the three colors in the bottom row and the first color we're using is kitten and it's this pinky matte shade and we're going to apply this all over our eyelids well all over my eyelid I'm using my normal eyeshadow brush it's the, just a normal kind of a fluffier brush and I'm applying kitten onto my eyelid like this with the eyeshadow primer it should stick really well that the that's the main reason why you should wear an, eye, an eyeshadow primer because it makes the eyeshadow stick a little bit better to your skin Okay, I think that looks kind of nice for the first step. I'm gonna go in with the blending brush a little bit. The step doesn't say it, but I personally like the edges to be blended out a little bit. So I'm taking a little bit of a bigger brush, it's a blending brush, and I'm blending out the edges. Okay, so that's the first step. Second step, let's see. Smoke Panther in outer V and smudge into lower lash line. Here the picture is very helpful to see what we have to do. I hope you can see it. We're going to do the Panther into the outer V and also into the lower lash line. I think that should be possible. I'm going to take an ankled eyeshadow brush and I'm using this one. It's a very old brush so the hairs are starting to come out but I still love it and I'm using it. Panther is the, I would say, matte black color. There are, it's matte and there are no really flex to it, no shine, no sparkle. It's just a matte black. Any matte black eyeshadow will do at this moment, I think. Okay, and again I'm going to take my blending brush to blend out this mess. That's always the problem with black eyeshadow. I feel that it's so, so prominent and the edges are so harsh that you really need a blending brush to make it look good. Even if the instructions are not telling you to do so, you should do. I hope you can see the difference. That is slightly blended and this one isn't. To me that's like a big difference. Okay, okay. Then you should have something like this. Until now I really like this look. It's more like a smoky eye than a cat eye until now. And I have to say I do like it. That's, that looks pretty cool. Okay, let's go to step number three. Apply kitty glitter around the inner, around the tear duct. Okay, so I, that means in the most inner part of our eyes, we are going to highlight. Eh? I'm taking a different eyeshadow brush, and that's more of a pointier one, and this one is by Evelyn, and it's a new one. Kitty glitter is a very shiny, silvery color, and we're going to apply this in the most inner corner of the eyes. Okay, so I did one eye, I hope you can see the difference, there is a slightly difference and I think it makes it look even better. So here we are after steps three and I love it until now, but now comes the hard part. Okay, fourth and last step, using an eyeliner brush wet and create a dramatic cat eye with Panther. So we're gonna go in again with the dark black color and we're going to make a winged shape, which is always difficult for me because I'm kind of bad at it. Okay, but I'm still at least trying. 
So again, I'm taking an angled eyeliner brush. It's a very different one, not very different one. That's a different one, and it's from Abelene, and it's a little bit more dense than the other one that I have. So I'm trying to get the the flick with this one. So here I have a little bit of water, and I am wetting my brush. Be careful! Don't get too much water. Okay. So I think I have it. Today I'm way more happy with the look than I was the days before. I have to say. It looks kind of good. But I also did something different. The cat eye on the picture is like very winged out and I didn't do this because I have the feeling that's the problem with me. Like a strong cat eye is just not looking good on me. So I did like a super small wing. I don't know if you can see it. I hope you can see it. And I think that suits me way better. So I think the first two looks do still have a chance if I get the cat eye right. But I have to say also the color combination and the applying it, it really is a good look. I love it. So let's just finish this off by using some mascara. I'm again using my Aqua Smoky Lash Mascara, the waterproof one by Makeup Forever. It's my favorite mascara of all time. And we're going to apply, I think, two coats. This one is a more of a dramatic cat eye look, or at least a more dramatic eye makeup. So we can apply some more mascara. Okay, so here we have the look with the mascara. Okay, I think that really gives it that that final touch. I like it. So let's step a little bit more face makeup. We're going to use some highlighter and bronzer. I'm using the highlighter Reckless by NARS. Um, that's the only one I have with me. As you can see, I don't have a lot of makeup with me. And I'm applying it with my fingers onto my cheekbones. Okay, last step, bronzer. I'm using the Snow Bunny bronzer by Too Faced. And it looks like this. And we're going to apply this on the sides of the cheeks and the jawline and maybe some rest what's left over I'm going to apply onto my temples okay guys and so there you have it what do you think that personally was the favorite look for me out of the three looks um, you have a little bit of a close-up um, I hope you like this look. Um, I think that's the final episode of this mini series because we did all the three looks of this. If you want to see more of this kind of videos, let me know in the comments below or subscribe to my channel or um, like this video. So I hope you enjoyed this one and I'll see you all next time. Bye!